You are now tuned into the Boxing Bros. Listen, last night was a big boxing night. A lot of great fights. And it was fun, but it was also kind of sad for me because I thought about my brother G, how fun it would have been to show up today and have G's input. So we're definitely going to be doing this show with G in mind and in heart. And this is G Day. And this is G Block. I'm Caden. I'm here with my co-host. I'm the commissioner. Zero Dollar Bill. You know how I'm rocking. It's always LLG for life. Mm -hmm. Time to get activated. That's right. The first topic we're going to discuss on Boxing Bros. Crawford gets unanimous decision over Madrimov. Despite the zone's enthusiasm for Madrimov. Okay? So... What we're going to do is we're going to listen to what Bud Crawford had to say after the fight, and then we'll discuss this. Right. The, the, Eddie's reaction to the scorecard, I don't know if you heard him on your way out of the ring, but he tried to make it seem like there was some sort of robbery or that the scorecards were wider than they should have been. Man, you got to understand, that's his, that's his fighter, you know. He's gonna he's gonna say anything that he can to uh, hype it up. You know he knows that guy lost, and and so do his team, and so do he. But what did you think about? So the, the reason why Terrence Crawford's even being asked that question is because throughout the broadcast, Sergio Mora and Chris Mannix really gave Madrimov credit for a lot of work. The punch stats even said he was outlanding Crawford although the punch stats had Crawford throwing a lot more punches. So uh, that's one thing. But basically, at one point, they had Madrimov win the fight decisively. And then in the end, they had Crawford closing the gap. So Trill Dollar Bill, you watched the fight. Did you see it the way that the zone commentators were seeing it? Did you think it was close? Or did you think it was a robbery, as Eddie Hearn said at the end of the fight? What's your reaction to it? No, nah, it wasn't a robbery. It was just a tough fight against a, um, not even like a tough, well, yeah, it was like a tough fight against a um, adorable, undefeated, uh, strong, young champion. This kid's never lost before. He's strong. He's durable. Um, he wasn't coming in there to lay down. He's never, he don't know how to lose because he's never lost before. You know what I'm saying? This is a new weight. For TC, um, but I thought he won. I thought TC won. I thought it was a tough fight, but I thought TC won. It was definitely no robbery, no robbery at all. It was just a tough little fight, you know. Um, but yeah, that's that's all I seen about it. It's nothing too crazy. <laughs> of course, it was a some glazing going on, you know. <laughs> but rightfully so. You know, everybody's gonna cheer for they for they fighter, just like TC was saying. You know the sport about y'all know out there, y'all know how it goes. You know what I'm saying? No different than Bob hopping in the ring saying something. You know? <laughs> <laughs> There's no no different than that. But um, yeah, I thought that uh, Crawford won um, the unanimous decision. Uh, but I do believe that it was a tough fight, and you know, and. Yeah, it was just a tough fight. No robbery. Yeah, I can't even believe that this is a real discussion, to be honest. Like, it's really annoying. And we're going to get into it. Like, my love for boxing is, like, slowly disappearing. It's to the point where I honestly, like, no cap, I'm thinking about moving on and doing something different and stop talking about boxing. I don't even have the love for boxing that I used to have anymore. It's like... I'm being honest. I can't continue to try to reason with the unreasonable. Like, that's what I'm realizing. Boxing fans are unreasonable. So here's the thing. Terrence Crawford is older than Mad Ramoff, smaller than Mad Ramoff, moved up in weight. In his first fight against, at in, in 154, he takes on a champion, no tune-ups, and he wins decisively to me there's no way you could have given this fight to Madrimov, right i'm going to point out some hypocrisies in the sport of boxing 
So, for example, Jermaine Ortiz fights Teofimo Lopez. A lot of people think Jermaine Ortiz won, but they give the fight to Teofimo Lopez. They say you can't win on the back foot, right? Then they say if you're gonna if you're gonna be on the back foot, you need to be active, and you need to land punches. Well, Terence Crawford wasn't always on the back foot. He went forward, but he threw more punches and he landed equal or more. I didn't see the final punch stats numbers, although I don't trust punch stats. Like I always say, especially when it comes to boxing, there are three kinds of lies, lies, damn lies, and statistics. So for me, Crawford dominated those facets of the fight. Activity, landed power punches, the harder power punches, because Crawford had Madramov hurt. The smaller guy who moved up in weight had Madramov hurt. He didn't have Bud hurt. So the enthusiasm they had for what he was doing was crazy to me. Matt Ramoff got credit for ridiculous things that I never heard of, like standing in front of Bud just doing all this. Look at his torso movement. Look at this. Look at that. Everything they would. Crawford would land three punches and they wouldn't say a word. Matt Ramoff would land a jab and they'd gas it up. They made sure they highlighted everything Matt Ramoff did and they didn't say anything about what Bud Crawford was doing which they did in another fight that I'm going to get into later. But I'm watching this. This is the this is nothing new. And the reason why I'm able to identify this is because I watched boxing my whole life. So I watch HBO do it. I watch Showtime do it when they favor a guy, when one of their own is in the ring. Terrence Bud Crawford, although he was fighting on the zone, is a free agent. He's not signed to Eddie Hearn. Matt Ramoff is. The commentary, the team that you were listening to, Sergio Mora, Chris Mannix, and Sean Porter, they're there on behalf of the zone. Now, props to Sean Porter. He told it like it was. When they were trying to make it seem like it was close and Matt Ramal was doing, doing work, Sean Porter was like, bro, this is 4-1. Bro, this, is, this isn't even close. Sean Porter, Sean Porter kept it real. And I'm glad that he did that. And towards the end of the fight, like he said, I, I don't share your enthusiasm for what Matt Ramov was doing. I don't think this fight was even close. And I don't think the fight was close. You can have competitive rounds, but a definitive winner. To me, Terrence Crawford was a definitive winner. He won the majority of the rounds. He landed the harder punches. He landed the cleaner punches. He hurt Matt Ramov. And the same people who are, you know, being critical of TC – are the ones who give Vasily Lomachenko a pass. Crawford is 36 years old. Last time that I checked, I haven't looked it up, but my, but he's he's a, he's an older man fighting a younger lion, and he went in there and won. Y'all are making excuses for Vasily Lomachenko not to even step in ring. Oh, at the lower weight divisions, blah, blah, blah. Come on, man. Yo, get a man his flowers. He went in there, and he won decisively. Y'all sitting here making excuses for why TC, I mean, for you're making excuses for why Vasily Lomachenko can't step in the ring with Tank. Why Vasily Lomachenko can't step in the ring with Shakur. Meanwhile, you got some ridiculous standard for Bud. Bud goes in there, dominates the fight, and they do all this. Okay, so my thing is also, when it comes to boxing, where there's a hypocrisy. You ever notice when a fighter is, take a fighter like, uh Jermaine Ortiz Jermaine Ortiz is throwing less punches than Tio but he's more accurate they take the fact that he's not being as active as Tio and they hold it against him they take the fact that he's on the back foot and they hold it against him but when Terrence Crawford is landing more which is throwing more punches but not landing at a, a rate as accurate as Madrimov they use the fact that Madrimov is more accurate, although he's being less active, as a, a, a as a positive. You see how they flip it. In the last round, Terrence Bud Crawford went out there to try to knock out Madrimov, and they said, Crawford is fighting with desperation. He knows he might be down. Really? It is common knowledge that all the greats try to close the show in the 12th round. Was Crawford fighting like he thought he was down, or was he just trying to close the show? You saw in the Sean Porter fight when he was cruising, they said, yo, you're down. He didn't even think he was down. He said, what, I'm down? They said, yeah, you're down. He went out there and he did work. My point is 
the coverage that the zone gave for Terrence Bud Crawford was absolutely horrendous. They did everything in their power to sell the narrative that Eddie Hearn is pushing. Right now, Matt Ramov got robbed. It was a close fight. Really? Watch that fight again. Turn the sound down and watch to see what's landing, what's not landing, who's doing what. You'll see Crawford won that fight decisively. You can have a one-sided competitive fight. You really can. It's where someone did good work in the round, but they clearly lost it. One-sided. There's no way you can make an argument that Matt Ramal won that fight. And if you're doing that, you need to get checked. You need to get yourself checked because you got a lot of bias in you. Let us know how you feel in the comment section. Please like and subscribe. Check us out on Instagram and Twitter. Please check out our podcast on all major streaming services. I'm the Commissioner Trill Dollar Bill. That's my brother Caden. It's LLG for life. And we just get started. We the boxing.